So, game is basically about this girl. She's the princess of the Wusong, and she defends the Wusong from bad guys, as you see. Uh, this is our professors. Uh, so, main purpose of our game is we've got one princess and there are some bad guys. The main idea is there is to shot the bad guys here, out here, and defend our university. So, as you, as you know that in some games, there are some there are some characters who defend some place or location or the building. So we we the the object is our university, and as you can see, there are some professors. So we really wanted to add some professors and their students out here, uh, because uh, and, and as you can see, the flag of the South Korea. And I think it's not just a game; it's it's all about our university and the game. Like it's a collaboration. And as you can see here, our princess can shoot that guy, and he can jump here, and shot again, and yeah, disappeared. Now, the game is finished, princess did what she wanted, and as you can see, this is the purpose of the game. Well, uh, if I talk about the background picture of our game, uh, it's a process of hard working on Photoshop. Well, uh, as you can see here, uh, there are lots of, uh, it's a collection of lots of pictures that we searched from the internet. Uh, here is, as you can see, here is a uh, students of Wusong University and, and some birds, uh, the flag of Korea. Of course, the Wusong University is in Korea. And here is uh, uh, our, our building, which uh, you can see the professors of, professors of uh, Endicott College. Uh, for example, the president, John Endicott, and vice president, and our, our professor, Mother Sudan Singh and other some elements we added so uh, now it's much more beautiful <laughs> So for the character in the game we created it in Photoshop by drawing each pixel in different color so and we made a princess and the princess needed 18 different uh, positions so that it can look like she's walking. So now we will explain the code. So first of all we imported Pygame and OS. So here we can see we created some variables for moving left and right. Here we created the class player, the main character. Here we created the class projectile. This is for our bullets and class enemy for a bad guy. So basically here, all this code explains how to move and how to react for the main character and for the enemy. Here we created the re-render window. This is for rendering our game. So basically without this, anything can be executed. Uh, here we added font, man player, goblin enemy, and shoot loop. This is start for the main loop. Here we can see how we, how we programmed like bullets, goblin hitboxes, and uh, other stuff which is used in the game. Here we use some keys, key left and key right for moving. This is the range of the moving. And here we added some jump right, jump left, and some other uh, functions for our hero. So that's the red. We draw game window, it means like the end of a render and click. 